This is Mike Arrington with TechCrunch. Today I have David Sachs, the CEO and founder of Yammer with me in the studio. Uh, David and his company won the TechCrunch 50 award in 2008 for the top startup and they've done very well since then. They've raised $15 million in capital, 10 of that was this year, and they announced over a million in revenue last year? Correct. Yep. Seven, what was it? Seven, seven, seven like, figure sales last year. Yeah, so some of the, it's like you wanted credit for getting a lot of revenue, but you didn't want to say exactly how much revenue. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Today on TechCrunch, David's going to explain exactly how much revenue he's doing. Hello, David. Good to see you. <laughs> so how much revenue did, did you do last year? Uh, well, you know, as, as we said, we, we did seven figure revenue. One of the, Let's narrow that down. Well, a, what, one of the nice things about being a private company is yeah. that you don't have to disclose uh, everything right. about what you're doing. Um, but I think the the really uh, great news uh, that's... Wait, wait, uh, hold on, hold yeah. on. If, Let's go back to that revenue okay. number. So it's somewhere between one yeah. and nine million dollars you did in revenue. And sales, year. yeah. Yeah. And, and so is it closer to one or closer to nine? How about that? We just narrowed Well, down. you know, it was our first year. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to specifics, but I'll say that just, you know, getting to seven figures in our first year was a huge milestone. Okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about the news. Right. So, uh, the first thing is your revenue has actually increased dramatically. Right. Uh, since the end of last year. Tell me about right. that. Well, we did more revenue in Q1 than we did in all of last year. So you did at um, least, you did somewhere between one and nine million dollars in revenue in right. Q1 of 2010. Right. 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 Um, it's growing, you know, 100% quarter over quarter. Yep. 45% um, increase in paid seats sequentially from Q4 to Q1, uh, and then we signed some huge wait, new, wait, so new customers. Yep. So you've uh, and you said by the end of this year you expect to be doing at least 10 million in revenue on a run rate, right? Well, I guess our goal for this year is to get to a you know eight figure run rate okay. by the end of the year. Let's yeah. let's talk a little bit about what the, the product is. We've mm -hmm. described it as Twitter for the enterprise. Is right. that is that the right way to describe it? I think that's a starting point for describing it. Um, you know, you guys also described it when we won as uh, Twitter with a business model. And um, <laughs> so, you know, but I think the basic idea is that we're taking uh, microblogging and social networking into the enterprise. We're taking these principles that have worked in the consumer space and uh, bringing them inside companies to foster greater collaboration and communication. So what that means in, in plain English, right, is mm -hmm. that uh, you can have a closed network inside mm -hmm. of the corporate environment. Right. Uh, where you can talk in a Twitter-like way, sort of right. real time. You can subscribe to people, right. subscribe to groups, and then right. you can you can talk about things going on. Now we've used it at TechCrunch uh, mm -hmm. from day one because you won the event, mm -hmm. but we're now completely hooked on it. Everyone mm -hmm. here uses it. We talk all day on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of my most important mobile apps. It's uh, I use the uh, you have an Air app as well mm -hmm. for the desktop, right? Um, and we're just constantly on it all day, talking and hey, check this out and look mm -hmm. at that and. Um, it's much easier than sending group emails, mm -hmm. for example, and things like that. At some point last year, it became important uh, for us to be able to administer the account, and that's where you got us. That's where we right. had to start paying. Right, exactly. And I don't know how much we pay. It's somewhere between, it's, I think your, your set rate is like three or five dollars right. yeah, per it's, user per month. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, for, depending on whether you want the silver or gold level of admin tools. Right, which one yeah. do we have? I think you guys are silver. Okay. That's my guess. You're paying three bucks per seat per month. Okay. So um, you know, we're probably paying you fifty bucks right. a month or something. Right. And like there's that. some additional yeah. stuff you get for gold tools, and um, it, they tend to be for larger enterprises. Yeah. Now, for very large enterprises, we do volume discounts. So you know, because we, you know, right. we got companies using this who have tens of thousands of employees, and so we'll work out something even more competitive um, for large mm -hmm. enterprises. So you have. How many user? How many corporate or, and organizations? How many corporations mm -hmm. and organiza organizations use Yammer today? Right. So over seventy thousand companies, organizations, you know, networks use, use okay. Yammer. And mm -hmm. part of your announcement is ten thousand new ones uh, right. starting using Q one. Q one. That's right. And what does Q two look like? Uh, it's looking great so far. Have you hit ten thousand in Q two already? Uh, well, we're only a few weeks in. So oh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> give us give us a few more weeks. <laughs> so you have uh, uh, seventy thousand mm -hmm. uh, organizations using it. Right. And how many total users? So, like TechCrunch mm -hmm. is one of those seventy thousand, but right. we have you know twenty or twenty-five people using right. it. How many total people use Yammer? Right. So we have over eight hundred thousand um, users. Okay. And um, you know we're closing in on the million number. Pretty. I think we'll do that pretty soon. You probably hit it whenever it is that you hit it. Yeah. You'll yeah. tell me. You'll say then. <laughs> yeah. You'll say we have seven-figure users. Right. So, <laughs> um, what percentage of companies become uh, paying companies, and how long mm -hmm. does it take for them to go from free to paid? Right, um, it varies quite a bit. You know, we, what we've announced um, previously is that we have over a thousand paying companies using it. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, the number continues to grow just every month, and um, it varies quite a bit when they claim. Some do it, you know, day one, and some take a few months, and 
Um, so you know, it, it varies quite a bit. Does the size of the organization matter? Do you find a bigger organization is more likely to go paid because they need more control over what's going on? Mm -hmm. um, well, I think what we're seeing is that this uh, product is popular from SMBs all the way up to the largest Fortune 500 type companies, and yeah. that's one of the things we'll, um, we have news on today. Um, and I think you know when we launched the product, we weren't exactly sure whether this would just be an SMB thing, you know, small companies yeah. using it, or whether it would appeal to large enterprises. And what we find is really uh, the whole spectrum of companies are using this and paying for it. So, but only one thousand of the seventy thousand companies are paid. Um, over well, like I said, what we've announced before is that we have over a thousand paying yeah. uh, customers. Is it ten thousand? Uh, you know, I'm not ready to, to disclose that today. We don't want to give less, everything away. Less than ten thousand. Um, it's yeah, but your conversion rate: two percent, three percent, one percent. Just curious. Well, what, what we've talked about is conversion rate of seats. Yeah. And um, on a seat basis, uh, we're between ten and fifteen percent of our seats are have converted to to being paying. <clears throat> Great. Uh, the big news is mm -hmm. some of these huge companies that are now using Yammer, mm -hmm. uh, which is a sort of great sort of due diligence and marketing point for you right. guys. Tell me about that. Right. So uh, we now have um, you know a large number of Fortune 500 uh, type companies uh, not only using Yammer, paying for Yammer. So about 70% of the Fortune 500 have Yammer networks, and we've now signed deals with Cisco, Nationwide, AstraZeneca, Alta Lucent, SunGuard, Molson Coors, and a number of others. And um, in particular, you know, the Cisco deal closed in Q1. And I think that's a very yeah. important one because this is a company that's in the business of enterprise security. And um, so they vetted us, they put us through uh, the paces to evaluate, you know, us on the basis of security, scalability, and value. And, um, you know, and I think that um, if, if they found that Yammer is worth paying for and is secure and meets, meets their needs, then I think um, really what this says is that um, you know, this is an idea whose time has come and really every company in the Fortune 500 could be, could be a customer. You want all of them? Absolutely. How many, uh, how many employees at Cisco are using this now? Has it just started to roll out? Um, well, it was used as a freemium product first, and then now they're paying for it, and so we'd expect that um, it'll be rolled out even more. So, uh, as a freemium product, it got thousands of users, and um, you know we hope to get that into the tens of thousands now that now that it's uh, claimed. Let's so. talk about. Um, that's it for the announcements, right? Um, I think so. I mean, I think you know we've got some other uh, basic details on the points I was making. Now we've got. Um, you know, three of the top ten pharma companies in the world are using yep. it. Two of the five largest network communications equipment companies are using it. One of the top five entertainment companies in the world is using it. One of the top five financial companies in the world is. It, I'm talking about paying customers. I'm not even talking about the freemium model. Yep. Uh, one of the top five um, food and beverage companies is using it. So we're now seeing Yammer adopted um, uh, by paid customers in really every industry segment, every industry vertical. Um, and so, um, you know, like I said, People I think people like it. People like it, and I think this is this idea of bringing um, consumer social networking into the enterprise is an idea right. whose time has come. Uh, you've raised 15 million. Ten of it was this year. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to raise any more. You think you're going to hit profitability and go from there? Um, you know, we barely spent any money at, at all net in Q1, and um, so certainly you know we've got the whole 10 million in the bank that so we raised. You're in virtually January. profitable now. We, we could be if we wanted to be. Okay. Um, With 50 employees. We're we're somewhere around 50 employees. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, you know, I was saying we have the whole ten million in the bank. Um, it, you know, we're hiring as you know good engineers as fast as we can, and yeah. um, good salespeople as well. Um, so it's going to be hard for us to to spend all that uh, VC money. But I wouldn't want to say that we're never going to do another round again. Have you had any uh, M and A sort of sniffs yet from guys? Um, well, um, nothing. Nothing I want to talk about. There's mm -hmm. you know, no news there or anything like that. Yeah. So you won't tell me that. You won't tell me revenue. You basically just read the press release on the air. That's all you got. Nothing, not one little nugget you're going to tell me. It's sort of off record that we can make public here to get people excited about Yammer. Well, that the whole press release is, is new. So it hasn't <laughs> even been released yet. You're the first one to see it. Uh huh. Let's talk about Chatter. Mm -hmm. So Salesforce okay. has a product called Chatter, right? which is uh, certainly similar to Yammer. Right. Uh, it's in beta now. It's going to hit the market when? When will it become public? Um, I think they've said sometime in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that going to just shut things down and, and crush you, or are you not afraid of it? No, I don't think so. I mean, the big limitation that Chatter has is that you have to be a Salesforce CRM seat to use you, it. We don't have to be, right? The company well, does. Well, you have to be. So Chatter is inside of Salesforce's CRM product. Yeah. Um, so either you have to be 
it's sort of an $80 per month seat using Salesforce CRM, yeah. in which case you get it for free, or um, they've announced that you've got to pay $50 per seat per month uh, if you're not already using their CRM yeah. product. And so that price point is literally... 10x, you know, more than 10x. More than 10 probably more, close to like 20x um, our price for enterprises. Does Salesforce do volume discounts for large customers too, though? Um, probably, you know, I don't know exactly how they're going to discount it, but I think, you know, um, the pricing obviously is something they could change. I think the sort of deeper issue is that your average employee inside a company doesn't want to have to go through a CRM tool to get to their company's yeah. social network. I mean, the beauty of Yammer is that, um, you know, it's so easy to, to use and get started with. Um, it's a very frictionless sort of product. Yeah. You can just post updates. Um, and I think the average employee would find it very sort of confusing, complicated to have to go through this sort of um, very good but very busy um, Salesforce automation CRM tool to get to this sort of communication tool. Um, and you know, you don't have to take it from me. We're already you know talking to large enterprises who um, are Salesforce customers, and they're they're still buying Yammer because they just don't see um, Chatter as a product that their entire company is going to use. Um, Yammer is really uh, was built as a product that could just spread virally, frictionlessly across the entire enterprise. Um, and as you know, this is a classic you know Metcalf's law type of product where the value of the product is it's a network product, so yep. the value of the product is proportional to the number of users and uh, to the square of the number of users. So. Um, you got all so, your sound bites. Well, no, no, I'll so let you finish that sound well, so, so the point is just, you know, it's very important to get the whole company on this, right? If, if you're going right. to have this sort of company-wide uh, sort of communication network. And um, and I think, you know, Chatter will be a nice feature for, for sales teams who are already using Salesforce. I just don't see it spreading to the whole enterprise. It's, uh, at $50 a user, that's a tough sell, for especially small companies. <clears throat> okay, great. Uh, thanks for coming by. Appreciate mm -hmm. your time. Absolutely. Good to see you, as always. Yeah.